Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Godric TV. Um, today we are going to be touching upon the Destroyer. Um, now I know it's a long awaited class but before we go on to that I'd like to say a massive massive thank you to um, NCSoft for uh, promoting my stream um, and they are now a sponsor to my Twitch and YouTube etc. So they have they are basically helping me to promote the game even more because um, that's what I love doing. Giving you guys content, giving you guys help, giving you guys some place to hang out, especially when it comes to Twitch. I love you guys. Um, the first thing I want to say in regards to NT Soft, um, everything that um, everything that's on my stream, that's on my channel, is all coming from me. I'm not influenced by NT Soft. Before we start this video, everything that I say is from my own knowledge and from um, from my own perspective. Okay. So today we have the uh, destroyer. Now I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have asked me to make this preset, which I have made for you. Um, and I have saved, um, which also will be saved on the description tab underneath the video. There will be a um, a a, uh, a download for you guys if you do want this preset, because I understand that there's a few of you out there that did actually want this preset. So we will, so I will be giving that to you guys. Um, today's video, we're going to try and keep it short. Uh, the main reason being, um, I don't really know. I'm not that au fait when it comes to destroyers, even though I've got a 50 destroyer. I don't main destroyer. Um, I just I'm one of those guys that has every class, one wants, wants to try every class at max level. So this is the reason why we're here today. We are going to be showing you destroyer and running down a quick skill build and what the skills do and how you can maximise your damage and so forth. So, first of all, guys, okay, ignore that. <laughs> um, first of all, we're going to move into the ability points. Um, it's quite self-explanatory, really. Your LB to start off with is called Judgment. Now, this is basically, everyone knows what your LB does. It's like a chi generator, or in N M EU and NA side of things, it's a focus generator, which is this blue bar down here. Um, now, on here, you can clearly see, um, I put four points in here, the main reason being, I go for, I max it out straight away because I want everything from here. Crit effects last three seconds, gives me more chi, and each hit, five extra chi is recovered. So, you don't actually, because because it's 100 chi, five is not really a lot in the grand scale of 100. If you hit five times, yeah, it's not great, is it really? But it's it's a good way to regenerate chi. Obviously, there is a chance um, if you crit that you can actually regenerate more chi as well. Um, which has a chance of proc in, i.e. on your weapon. Um, chance to recover 100 chi, 100% of your chi points, which again is the same thing as focus. So um, it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit more chance basically to um, give you more chi. So yeah, go down this side of the tree personally. Um, in regards to, there's another LB and you guys must be thinking, why, why has he got another LB for? This doesn't make sense. I'll tell you why there's another LB. Um, because after you slam someone, which, um, after you slam somebody, which basically means grabbing them, um, slam to the ground, which is your Z. Once they go to the ground, then your, this LB comes active. Now, the relentless attack is a shed ton of damage. Now, you can see the difference. Normal LB, 596, uh, 597 to 660. This is 2,176 to 2,406. Now, that's a lot of damage for an LB, right? That's a lot of damage. Also, the reason why I've gone down this side of the tree... Um, rather than this side of the tree, this side is more. Oh, okay, this side is more damage. I've gone down this side of the tree. Basically, when I create recovers um, recovers uh, chi points. The main reason being, if I'm going to be doing LBRB LBRB on on the boss, which I'm going to show you in a moment, or on a dummy or a mob or whatever, then I want to try and maximise my chi. So that means there's no downtime in me doing my LBRB attack. So this is the reason why I go down this side of the tree. It means there's no downtime for when I'm doing my abilities. That's the last thing you want is standing there like a melon. Um, and not being able to do your abilities. So this is the reason why I've gone down the left side of the tree. Now, RB. The reason um, your LBRB is probably one of your main combinations that you use, and I'll show you LBRB. To do LBRB in regards to anti-canceling, because I know a lot of people, you, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about anti-cancel and how to anti-cancel. So basically, you can see um, my left mouse button is R, or left mouse button, and my T is my, I can either press T or right mouse button. If you simultaneously press these, try and time them right, you can anti-cancel, which basically means the anti-cancel itself is cancelling your previous animation. So you'll see the full animation here. That's the full animation, right? It swings it round, and it takes a while for it to stop and come back. Same with your my T. He slams it down, and he holds it there for a second. If you do it quickly, and if you time it properly, you can anti-cancel. So the main reason why you want to anti-cancel is to maximise your damage, okay? Don't forget, I have 230 ping, and I can still anti-cancel, regardless. 
When I go to EU, I've got 22 to 25 MS, so the anti-cancelling is going to be insanely fast in comparison. But just to show you guys, because I'm doing guides and everything before the game is launched, I'm going to show you guys this anti cancel Okay. As you can see, my LB is getting cancelled. Same with my, same with my right trigger. As you can see, I'm maximising the damage every time. Anti cancel, anti cancel, anti cancel. As you can see, it's not doing the whole animation. So if I'm pressing, if I'm pressing, um, if I'm pressing RT, 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 I can anti cancel. Also, if you do, because of lag, if you guys are going to suffer from lag, I know some of you Oceanic players are going to be struggling from Australia, etc. So if you are going to be struggling, you can always do RT and L, um, RT, and you press your left mouse button and right mouse button at, at the same time um, for anti cancel. If you are struggling with lag, when it comes to, when it comes to. Um, when it comes to uh, the launch of EU and NA, um, and your ping is below 50, realistically, you don't need to press both. Your anti cancel is going to be on point anyway. As long as you time it properly, you're laughing. Anyway, that is your main damage source. LBRB is your main source of damage when you come to dungeons, when you come to not arena, not PvP, but when you, when you come to dungeons, that is your main focus, okay? Um, in regards to this tree, the reason why I've gone this side is because it accelerates the phase, um, it accelerates basically your speed. Um, it, and accelerates over multiple casts. So if you do LBRB, LBRB more than a few times, it's going to increase your speed. Also, um, when cast multiple times in succession, consumes 20 chi points. As you can see, the uh, chi points used, it does it does actually go higher, but the thing is you regenerate more chi because once you crit, you get more and more and more and more. Good drills. Okay, before we touch upon X, I'm going to be moving down to E. Now, E is um, a really good, really good source of damage. This is what happens when you uh, when you go into arena, you stun someone and they've used all the cooldowns. You hit E, you press X, LBRB, LBRB, boom, they're dead. That, they, they literally die in no time at all. The reason why you want to go down the left side of the tree, you can pretty much see there. It immunes you to damage. During rage, recovers 180 chi points. Um, defense at 100%. Uh, also, um, your, crit, uh, your crit rate and your crit damage is also increased. Not Your crit rate is increased by 100%. Your crit damage is increased by 30%. Now... Everyone's saying, oh, that's overpowered. That, that's completely overpowered. It only lasts six seconds. It's not a great deal, okay? It's not going to change the world. It's not going to do anything. If you want to go down this side of the tree, purely do it for leveling, purely do it for um, uh, groups with dungeons and stuff like that. Like you want to do group dungeons when you go down this side of the tree. The main reason being, if you want to do it on your own, you want to try and solo some content, go down this side of the tree. The main reason being, um, it gives you more defense. Um, it makes you immune. Um, it's, it's amazing. Like This is a really good side of the tree. Only if you want to, um, only if you want to do solo content in regards to dungeons. That's the only time you go down the side of the tree because you want to go down the down the side of the tree because it's going to maximise your damage. Okay, so in regards to E, pretty self-explanatory, right? So, um, in regards to um, when you hit your E as well, it this activates. So your relentless attack. Remember, what I was telling you guys about this. Your your relentless attack. If you do your relentless attack, um, it, sorry, if you activate rage, which is six seconds, you instantly get relentless attack. So if you do LB, RB, when relentless attack on, the damage is crazy. All right, the damage is absolutely crazy, um, which I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to show you these things that are combined together to maximize your DPS, especially every time rage is off cooldown, which is 45 seconds, you want to make sure it's off cooldown. Boom, 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 boom. Especially if someone is um, stunned or groggy or something like that, the damage is only going to increase, and it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. So on the left side of the tree, uh, we have um, uh, pulverized. Uh, pulverized is one of your main damage abilities, especially the reason being going down this side of the tree. I wouldn't go down the other side of the trees personally. I'd go. I'll stick down this side because when you've stunned someone or um, they're in a groggy or anything like that. So if they've been force gripped with a groggy or anything like that, especially in PVE, uh, the damage itself, as you can see, the damage is high anyway. Six thousand five hundred seven to seven thousand one hundred ninety-eight. That's non-crit. That's ridiculous. Um, so after you suppress an enemy as well, you have three thousand five hundred thirty-one to three thousand nine hundred six on top of that damage you've already got. So yeah, the damage is the damage is ne next level. The damage is really good, and I'm going to show you guys why it's so strong. Also, if you activate rage and this thing crits, man, you're looking at some crazy crits. I mean, my my attack damage on this character is pretty low anyway. It's only four seven five. I haven't really leveled, leveled up. The only decent thing I've got on here is the weapon, um, which gives me an extra twenty percent on my pulverized ability. So it's even more damage than this. It is ridiculous. It is crazy, 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 crazy time. So. What I'm going to show you now is the combination of E, so we're going to hit my Rage, we're going to hit X, 
We're going to do LBRB, LBRB, and you will see it's 100% crit rate. It's only six seconds, but the burst is unreal. Okay. Let me show you guys this. Okay. E. Rage. X. LBRB. 100% crit rate. Okay. You guys could see that amount of damage. That was like 100% crit. Pulverize here. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy damage, man. Crazy damage. So good, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, let's move on to the next ability. So these, we're going to move down these abilities now. Though. These are the ones that are going to save your life. These are the ones that are going to um, get you out of these sticky situations. Okay, so we're going to hit upon F first. Um, it's called Suppress. So basically, when someone's, um, if anyone's groggied or anyone's using block or any counter abilities against you, that's when you can pick them up and just go... Just repeatedly punch them in the face all day. It's great. You can repeatedly punch them in the face. Um, we're going to touch upon all the abilities and come back to them as well. So when, so once you've got F, um, you're repeatedly punching someone in the face, which is always great. Um, you can you you can kind of do different things as well. You can do your slam. You can do headbutt. Um, so the reason why slam so good is that if you slam them to the ground again, it activates your relentless. Um, it, ac it activates your relentless strike again. The original one's judgment. It activates your relentless strike, which means more and more damage. It's yeah, I mean, it's great, especially when you're doing solo PVE. You pick them up, punch them in the face about five or six times, press Z, slam them to the floor, and just, yeah, just unload on their face, and it's good times, man. It's really, really good times. Uh, the reason why I haven't really got much points in this, I'm only home on one, and this is not v vital. Um, this is not vital, in my opinion. Um, if it's vital for, in regards to at least one point, so you get the three second knockdown, apart from that, I, yeah, I, I kind of wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Kind of won't bother so much. Um, if you are planning on, um, if you are, hold on, this is making me think now. It's dangerous, I know. Um, I th thought that headbutt actually you could knock cats out in arena and against summoners and stuff like that. So if anyone's got a pet, you can knock them out. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm not that au fait with destroyers. I'm doing you guys just to tell you guys what the ability is doing, doing combinations and stuff. This, I'm not entirely sure. I thought that was a part, but basically, once you've got someone grabbed again, you repeatedly punch them in the face, um, and then you can do a headbutt on them as well. Pretty, pretty bad manners. That's destroyer. Reckon the show. Um, also, you've got your throw. Uh, this is all these, all, all these abilities are whilst you are in. Um, if I change, if I say it's not under your F, so when you're picking someone up and you're going punch, 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 um, this ability is super fun. If anyone gets a destroyer and levels your destroyer, get this ability because it is hella fun. I'm not even joking, it's incredible. So basically when you're repeatedly punching someone in the face, you throw them on your weapon, you swing around like a hammer shot and you go whoop, and you literally throw the enemy and you can do that in PvP as well, it's hilarious. You can throw people off cliffs, you can do everything. It's, uh, it's so good. Um, you can put points in it. Personally, I wouldn't bother. Um, this is where the cat thing is, though. So, if you're against a summoner and you're going to be in the struggles, you want to punch a cat in the face, which I know a lot of people want to do against summoners. You can simply pick up your cat, punch him in the face, give him a black eye, press C, throw him. It will paralyze him for 30 seconds. That means that cat is out of combat in PvP. It's amazing. So, if you're going to be doing P PvP as a destroyer, I'd recommend this, unless your damage is completely off the chain and that someone is not very really good. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend going down this side of the tree. If you, uh, well, definitely putting two points. There is no tree. Definitely putting two points into this. Uh, it's a great ability. Great ability. Okay, so we're going to touch upon C now. Now C's C's good because what C does, right? It makes you immune to damage. So if someone's from distance is throwing fireballs at you all day and freaking. Um, or you got a warlock sitting there like this crazy cracker here. Um, he's just doing crap, sh shed loads of damage on you. This will reduce all damage, not just melee damage. It will also re um, it will also um, make you immune to uh, rain damage, ranged damage as well. So once once it actually makes you immune, right? Once it actually makes you immune, you get this ability here called Flaming Wheel. Um, sounds amazing. It is amazing. Um, if you're going to go down PvP, I'd recommend going down at least putting one point in this just so you get the launch in the air. So if I, if, so oh, I've hit, I've hit that again. Good drills. So if I hit C again, as you can see, it puts like it's kind of, I've got like a white coating over my body. It's kinky. I've got a white coating. So um, with that white coating, that means you are immune to damage. It's pretty self-explanatory. You are immune. It means you, you cannot be hit by anything, or you can't be knocked down during that phase. It only lasts like hardly any time at all. But it, it's really good. Um, the main reason being because you get this ability, launch them into the air. So if you resist damage. If you go immune to damage, if someone hits you whilst you're doing your flame wheel, I'll show you it again. 
Okay, if you if you actually immune to damage, um, if someone hits you whilst you're in your immune damage, it means this gets activated straight away, which launches them into the air, deals damage, and you can basically just tombstone them on the floor and just crush their dreams and make them cry. Um, it's awesome. It's really good. I'd recommend putting points on the left side if you PvP and the right side if you're doing PvE. The main reason being, when crit recovers 30% chi points, which is always amazing, um, and also uh, it deals a lot more damage. You can see, look at the dimish, look at the difference in damage: 2,266 to 2,506 to 4,070 to 4,502. It's going to make the world of difference, right? It's amazing. This you can do outside of the grab. I forgot to point that out. Thanks for reminding me. Anyway, next ability. We're going to move on to uh, your Z ability. Now, this ability is a standard knockdown. Great, brilliant. If you're going to do PvP, if you're going to do PvE, eh, do you need it massively? Not really. If you're going to do it, I'd say put a couple of points in it. does damage. Um, on successful hit as well, destroys game ma maximum acceleration, which means your yeah your um, your speed uh, just goes off the chain. Um, and it's amazing. So, if you're doing PvP, though, Ideally, you want to go for the pool. The main reason being is that you, uh, if you got them annoying little force masters or summoners or any range cast or anyone actually, if you've got anyone that's getting on your wick and they'll keep running away from you and you can't chase them and you're spinning like, oh, I can't catch you, I will catch you, you're winding me up, then you can sim simply just press Z, throw your weapon. That person, what would normally happen, because that's a dummy, it didn't move anywhere, um, it's stuck on the floor by super glue. But if you, if you press Z and you throw your pull at them, it, it basically means that the enemy will come to you. He'll basically go into a groggy state. You can pick him up, punch him in the face, and fling it back again if you want to. See, like, there's so many, there's so many different variations that you can do with this class. This is the reason why I actually quite like Destroyer. There's, I know there's people. I, I know I do hate on it a little bit. I do hate on it quite a bit um, when it comes to um, my stream and stuff because I get a little bit of rage sometimes. But uh, yeah, you, if you want to go down the PvP side of the tree, you want to spec pull. Pull is crazy, crazily good. Spec, spec it. Um, in regards to uh, Iron Wall, now this is, in my opinion, fundamental. The main reason being is that um, there's many different skill trees, right? The reason why I've gone down this side of the tree, I don't know. I just went down this side of the tree. But the main reason being, um, if someone, um, if someone hits you whilst you got your shield up, it basically recovers 20 chi points. It's worth it. It recovers 10% HP over four seconds. Um, and it kind of looks something like this. Um, it looks amazing as well. Um, you basically stand over a shield, it recovers HP, it's beast, and then it breaks. So the cooldown on it goes, it's like 20 seconds, it's not the end of the world. But also, if you're in this, you think, I can't really do anything, what am I supposed to do, right? It's like, all I can do is stand in this, I can't, what, what am I supposed to do? You can come out of it, you can be quite clever, right? So your number one ability, which we forgot to touch upon, because I'm an absolute muppet, um, is your, and I will come back to V in a second, your uh, number one ability, which is your Earthquake, right? This is good, because the main reason being, it gives you a stun. And it looks something like this. Right? Awesome. Stun for three seconds, deal, deals damage, everyone's happy. Um, if you if you want to do PvP, I'd recommend using the middle tree. The main reason being, after putting an enemy, groggy them for two seconds. It doesn't stun them, it puts them in the groggy. Um, it's just a different, like a different way. Also, pulls them in. It pulls them in. It's kind of like the Z, where you pull them in. So if someone's running away, do you want? It's going to go... It's going to suck them straight up to you, and you're going to be laughing. Now, you saw the animation, right? You saw the animation. If I hit V and 1, check this animation out. Just imagine falling boulders and stuff like that. It's incredible, really. Boom! Delicious. Good time. So, if you're going to be... If you're sitting in V, waiting for that health regen, or even if you don't want to use it as a health regen, you only want to use, you only want to use it as a damage as a damage immune tool. You hit V and just and just sit there and just roll around. And they're not going to expect that. Like not everyone expects you to go earthquake straight away, um, because it's a gap closer. Um, if you're going to be away from them, if you're going to be um, if you're too far away from them, or if you're on top of them, if you're on top of them, I wouldn't recommend using V and then one. It's no point. Um, I'll just sit there all day and just press SS. If they're trying to get behind you, so basically. If any enemy is in front of you whilst your V wall is up, right, your, your uh, shield wall, they can't hit you. If they go behind you, they can. They actually can. Um, and that means that, that they can unload on you. So if you're in a sticky situation, what you can do is press V, press SS, and you can jump back. As you can see, you move a lot slower while that's on as well. Um, ultimately, though, it's a great ability. I'd worth putting points into it. It's, uh, yeah, it's good times, man. Good times. Next bit is Stomp. Now this now this is like a damage over time effect. You see me slam the ground. Let me do it on these three mobs. Let's see if we can change channel because there's a lot of there's a lot of people on at the moment. It's currently prime time in Taiwan, so there's a lot of people here. So if I hit three, boom, 
damage over time. Awesome. So per personally, every time this off cooldown, whilst I'm doing my LBRB, 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 if you look at it, it's just like even more damage. So it, it's just even more damage. You just want to unload as soon as I cool down, slap it back on again. It's worth it. Yeah. Awesome. It's up to you if you want to put more points in it. Personally, if your if your chi regeneration if your chi regeneration isn't very good, I'd recommend putting points in it because then you get more chi over time as well. It's your choice. You don't have to, but yeah, pretty much. Again. People must say, God, destroyers get another knockdown. Are you serious? Yes, destroyers get another knockdown. Uh, it's called amputate. Um, pretty much what it says on the tin, you amputate them. Not not physically, otherwise they'll be hobbling around an arena. But you, um, it's a two-second knockdown. So you knock them down to the ground. Um, it's up to you whether you want to put points in it. Personally, for PvE, hell no. Don't bother putting points in it. Um, in PvP, potentially, it could be you could put another four points into it and it could count as another launch into the air, which means even more damage and even more devastation. So, I mean, it's your choice whether you want to do such a thing, um, which is your dive ability. Uh, does which is the one where it's in the air. You launch from the air, do you dive, boom, see you later. Sweet dreams, pal. So, um, yeah, crazy damage. Uh, in regards to, I mean, I know a lot of people say that I can't beat a destroyer. All they do is spin to win. That's all they do. Like, it's so annoying. Blah, 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 blah. No, no. destroy it. Like, if you lose against a destroyer or even a blade dancer, which I touched upon in, in one of my other videos, if you lose against a blade dancer, right, or, or a destroyer just by them spinning to winning, um, you deserve to lose, sir. You, you really, really, really do deserve to lose. Um, because they do not have infinite, um, infinite chi or infinite focus. So you can see, look, 20 points. 20 points 20 points it costs so much it's ridiculous so instead of going ham and jumping on their face and like i want to kill you i want to kill you and every time they're spinning on you you're doing something wrong like if they're going to if they're going to spin wait for that gap where they stop spinning so look spin see that little gap boom jump on stun blah, 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 blah. dead like you there is ways around it you don't jump on someone's face as soon as they start spinning if you do, and if you spec the correct way as a destroyer, you will spec this side of the tree, right? Because the main reason being, the main reason being, it deflects one attack within 0 0.5 seconds after casting. So if if um, if say if someone's going mad on you and they haven't stunned you, you literally just go boom and then press tab, and it will completely it will stun them. Then you can press grab, you can punch them in the face, you can throw them in the air, you can do what you want with them. Um, there's so many options, but if you want to do PvP. Ah, uh, this side of the tree is amazing. Honestly, this side of the tree is godlike. Pretty much, it's it's so good. If you're um, personally, I'd use this side of the tree permanently. It's it's good. Um, that's pretty much tab. Um, that's that that's your cyclone. Now this is your escape cyclone. It's exactly the same as every other class. Everyone's got one of these. It's an escape. Um, it's a 36 second cooldown escape. It's amazing. You're gonna want to put points into it if you're doing PVP. If you're not doing PVP, just put one point in it. Just one point. I wouldn't bother putting any more than that. Um, the reason why you go down the right side of the tree... Um, sorry, oh, so we'll start on the left first. If you want to go down the left side of the tree, um, it's mainly when you're going against uh, classes that can grip you up, which means um, which means other destroyers, uh, LBMs, sorry, Blade Dancers, uh, Force Masters. Um, yeah, so if, if whilst they're gripping you up, you want to get out of that situation, expect this side of the tree. If not, just go down this side of the tree. Because once you jump out, it puts the enemy in a groggy. If you put them in a groggy, you can just pick them up, punch them in the face repeatedly again, and throw them away like a bit of you, a used tissue. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty self expansion, really. Number two. Uh, charge is very good. Um, if you want to put two points in it, go for it. If you just want to do damage with it, personally, this is a waste of time going to the right side of the tree. In my opinion, the right side of the tree is pointless. Um, I prefer to have Chi Regen and the stun. Um, if you're going to do PvP, I mean, you you will you you will magically get the stun anyway. But you you can get you can increase the speed of your dash, um, and also if you put one more point in it, it gives you another 30 chi, which is awesome. So boom, yeah, see that little charge, so little, little um, clogs were going on the floor, crazy cracker, um, so strong, it's really good. Um, yeah, I personally would put at least two points in that to be on the safe side. It's worth doing. Um, yeah, pretty much. So we've touched upon you know, all, all the abilities now. Uh, the thing we're going to touch upon now is Cyclone. No, sorry. I don't know why I said Cyclone. It's Typhoon. Um, everyone has a QA, and e right? Some classes have evasion with theirs. Um, some classes have abilities like this where they, like, they, they go crazy. Um, and they go even more crazy with Typhoon. Um, it's up to you whether you want to put points in this. Uh, it's, it is good. Um, the main reason why I put points into it is because... Um, 
I get my normal speed back. So if you don't put no, no, no points into it and you're pressing Q, you're literally going as fast as you are when you're in Iron Wall. It's ridiculously slow. You're like a snail. Um, and I prefer to be able to move a little bit whilst I'm pressing the Q. Q, as you can see from the damage, is crazy. Like it's, it's basically exactly the same as your tab, but difference is you can regen, um, you can get some points from it. You can, yeah, you can regen even more chi points or focus points. Um, I know a lot of people. Um, I know a lot of people in PvP use this middle tree. Um, it does use a lot more chi points, but the only thing is you get a lot more stuff back from it as well, um, and you're basically like immune near enough. Each hit with five times stuns them for two seconds as well. So if you're on their face raining down them with Typhoon, it's a minute cooldown, but if you're sitting on the face, it's another stun, man. Like, destroyers get so many stuns and knockdowns and stuff. It's crazy, crazily good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's completely it's completely your choice. On the right side of the tree, personally, I wouldn't go full stop. Um, if you hit someone with this, it's going to knock them back. So it's literally like a tornado, pretty much. You, 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 yeah, yeah, you get hit by it and it knocks you back 11 metres. It's, it's, it's strong, but... I'd recommend going the left side of the tree for PvE. Um, it does say um, can move during cast, cannot be defended against. Uh, when cast multiple times in in succession, deals um, 1,364 to 15.08 damage, and also gives me chi back. Um, and you can also cast it more than once as well. As long as you've got the chi to do it, you can cast it more than once. So like, you can see that damage. So I'm just hitting it, hitting it all day, boys. Hitting it all day. So that's me just spamming Q, pretty much. It's me spamming Q. To be honest with you, you don't want to do this. It's your main main outcome of damage, your main source of damage. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're doing AoE. If you're AoE and mobs, not such a bad idea. You can hit free and then do your Q. So it's even more damage. Boom, 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 boom. A constant AoE. Constant AoE. So it's up to you. It's up to you. But realistically, all you're doing is recovering chi points and you'll... And you'll crushing AoE packs down. If you're going to be doing solo, then you just focus on doing this. Like, especially boss fights, you want to focus on this. Doing the standard. Doing the standard what I showed you guys already. That's where your main outsource of damage actually comes from. Like, you have to appreciate the lag I'm getting right now. Like 230, 240 MS. It's not great. Uh, but for you Oceanic players, are destroyers viable? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so with this ping. Because I know a lot of you guys will be struggling for the time being for Ping Arenos because you're going to because you'll be having around 200. So it's your choice, really. It's your choice where you enroll this class. I would recommend this as the only melee class that you can viably play at that high ping. Uh, so yeah. Um, so I think that's about it, guys. Um, I don't think we've got anything further to add. Uh, so we're going to end the video. If you do have any questions or queries, um, please leave them below. A big thank you again for um, NCSoft for sponsoring uh, my Twitch and my YouTube and my Twitter and stuff. I really do appreciate it, guys. I love you all very much. Um, if you guys want to come by and say hi, I am on Twitch, like generally every day, streaming Blade and Soul. Uh, so if you guys want to come and come, come along and say hello, I love you guys. And um, can't wait for Head Start, people. Cannot wait for Head Start. 15th of January, 48-hour stream. I expect you guys to be there, man. Much love, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.